Yeah, this is type of uh, integrals uh, dealing with um, the polynomials in denominator. So we have to first factorize the denominator. So this, uh, uh, how do we factorize denominator? Uh, well, we can do this way, right? This is x fourth plus one square. This is squares this, this is squares that. The midterm is what? Midterm is two x fourth. I have a, only one x fourth. So I take another way, another x fourth, right? Which is x squared squared. So we can do x squared plus x squared plus one, right? Multiply by x fourth minus x, yeah, plus one, right? So it's been done. So this one is equal to x fourth plus x squared plus one plus x fourth plus no minus x squared plus one. And uh, we're using we're using uh, partial fractions. Now, on top would be what? Well, if you if you don't if if you don't feel comfortable with x fourth, I can replace x fourth by t square, right? Plus t minus one, and that one is a uh, t square minus t plus one. Yeah, that that one looks uh, better, right? It's more comfortable. So this would be a t plus b, right? This would be c t plus uh, d. So okay, Let's, then you replace that one x t by x square, right? So it will be it will be a x square plus b. And this will be c x square plus d. Okay, same thing. Now, I suppose you know the method of uh, partial fractions. So uh, let me save time. Just write result a is equal to one half, b is equal to uh, one half. C is equal to negative half, D is half. Well, I suppose, suppose everything should be okay. Just, just the method, right? To determine coefficients. So this one is equal to, uh, I take common factor out is a one half integral uh, x square plus one dx over x fourth plus x square plus one. That is for this one. And uh, c is negative, so minus half. Uh, minus half will be x squared minus 1 dx, right, x. Well, good. Well, so far so good. Now then, <laughs> that is the main step, okay? Uh, that is uh, divided by x squared, both top and bottom. So this will be 1 plus 1 of x squared. This will be x squared plus 1 plus 1 of x squared, dx, minus 1 half. I do the same thing. 1. Over x squared, right? One over x squared 
x square minus 1 plus 1 over x square. Okay. And then this is 1 half. And the numerator is equal to the derivative of x minus 1 of x. Right? This derivative is this, this derivative is that. And then I'll change the denominator in, in terms of x minus 1 of x, which is possible, x minus 1 of x square. This square is this, this square is this. The midterm is what? Midterm is negative 2. I have a 1 here. Positive one. This is negative two. So plus three, right? Should be okay. Minus this is the same thing. This is a, the derivative of uh, x. This is one. This is uh, one of x, isn't it? This derivative is the one. This derivative is that. And uh, the denominator is written as this, this, a function of that. This is x, 1 plus 1 of x square. This is square is this, this is square is that. The midterm is 2. I want a negative 3. So minus 3. See? They maintain equal sign. That's the techniques of integration. You change the integrand, at the same time they maintain the equal sign. Now, and then this is a formula, right? We have a formula. This is one of a root three arctangent. Uh, root three, right? X minus one of X. For this one, for that one, uh, we have a formula, right? 1 over 3 natural log uh, uh, x plus 1 of x minus root 3, x plus 1 of x plus root 3, right? Yeah, plus c. And then we simplify. This is the arctangent. Uh, times x, right, x square minus 1. This is uh, root 3x. And minus 4 root 3, natural log. So x square minus root 3x plus 1, x square plus root 3, x plus 1. Right? So that is the end of it, of our integral. This this kind of techniques is rather, you know, general, rather, generally to, to deal with this type of integral where the denominator is a polynomial. Thank you for your watching.